What's going on traders? It's Tyler here. Today we're going to be talking about FTFT on the stock ticker. This one gapped up today due to news. Um, looks like they expanded one of their subsidiaries in China, or not China, but um, in their cloud business. And that made this, and the stock has an 11 million share float. So that caused it in the pre market here. You can see the shaded area. The pre market, it went from about 82 cents and hit a high of 250 in the pre-market and when the market opened it looked like it it went up a little bit but then got sold off quickly recovered um we can see that it came back up here to the resistance up here at 270 about but could not could not push higher um and then just ranged inside here the rest of the day and you can see the average par average price traded was about 222 and um, it just moved in between that area and now we're just sitting right on the moving average so that's that's something to take into consideration we're pretty much sitting about even um, basically undecided so we'll go ahead and um, start really quick draw our support and resistance we got our resistance up here at 286 we'll go ahead and just say 285 um we got some strong support it looks like here at 180 um so we got we'll go ahead and put that there at 180 um and then we got our median right here at about 235 actually we're gonna go ahead and put this at 230 I feel like that's a better spot. Um, we can see that the, the cloud is switching between. It's it's already flipped twice, so it's really undecided. Um, we're on the five-minute chart here. We'll go ahead and zoom in a little more. And we can see that um, we broke out of this trend line here, came back up retest, got rejected off that trend line. And then we're pretty much riding off this trend line right now. So that's interesting to take into consideration. Um, we're sitting below the average traded price. So overall, I would say this is a bearish looking chart. So, I mean, it's not bearish as in overall, but where the direction where it's headed is looking a little bearish. So you got to keep that into consideration when trading this tomorrow. Um, so if you, but if you're looking to go bullish tomorrow, you want to trade this long, you're holding stock or you want to scalp it tomorrow, whatever the case may be for me, what I need to see absolutely at some point tomorrow is I need to see a clean break back above the VWAP here at 222. So that's the first thing that's absolutely needed. Um, so we can get back above that average price trade traded. And then we want to break above the median line here at 230. Once those two things happen, that is our signal um, to start watching the stock, right? Not, not hop in, but we want to watch it from here on. Um, because if it just glides down here and doesn't do anything, then who cares about it, right? But if we see this big move happen here... Um, that's what I. That's what interests me. Now, when I see that break above 230, I want to see it come back and retest that 230 area, and we want to make sure that we're above the Tikkinsen um, and the Kijinsen and the moving average and and especially the uh, VWAP here. And once we retest off this median zone here, this cloud will turn into a large blue cloud, and that's what we want to see. Uh, not a wide blue cloud, but we want to see it open up blue pretty hard, kind of like right here. Um, how it tunnels up like that. So basically, once you see it pull back, and we want to wait and watch it here. We don't want to just hop in. We want to wait and see if it stabilizes, um, and we want to see if that bullish momentum stays intact and stays pushing forward. Because we don't want to just hop in right here 
and then it just drops down here, right? Because that wouldn't be no good. You lose you lose on some money um, for sure. So you gotta you want to wait for that break, that close above. You want to come back, retest, confirm that we're not moving lower. Once you see that stabilization, for me, I wait for that that push past that pullback point. That's my entry, which would be like right here. I have a stop order, whatever the case may be. And I ride that up to the next resistance up here. And I would try to hold it all the way to this top up here. But keep in mind, there is a lot of um, little resistance in between. So keep that in mind. Um, if you do get a pullback, you know, like in this area, maybe just consider selling out. It's always good to just take your profits immediately, but for the sake, um, for, for the sake of this video, that's the trade that I would look for. With right here being the entry, you want it. I mean, above the pullback point is where my entry is. So wherever that may be at the time it happens, I can't give you a number because it's going to be somewhere between two thirty and two fifty, right? And then that we want to see that we want to see it pull back. We want to see it stabilize, and we want to see it push past that pack past that point. So that's what I would look for if you're looking to go bullish tomorrow. Remember, you, you want the cloud switch. You want to be above the VWAP here, and we want to retest that median at two thirty. That's those are the crucials. And we want to see that bullish momentum pick back up. Um, now, if you're looking to go short, you're bearish, then. What you're going to want to see, um, the picture is already overall bearish as in that's the direction. Um, but the the overall picture is bullish still. But the direction that it's hinting is bull or bearish. So we definitely want to keep that in mind. Now, we don't want to just hop in the trade and just pray that it works out, right? What we want to see is a break below this 180 level right here. That's crucial. We want to see a close below 180. Once you see that happen, that's the signal to start watching it. Then you want to see, just like up here, you want to see it come up and retest that level. Just And then you want to see stabilization as in rejection off this, um, off this area because if it doesn't get rejected, it'll just come right back up here, right? And then if you enter a short right here without waiting to see what happens, then... Uh, you could get wiped out pretty good. So you want to wait till it stabilizes. You want to get that confirmation. Make sure that bearish volume returns. Make sure the sellers come back. And once you pass that pullback point, for me, that's my entry. And, <clears throat> and I ride it down to that next um, support down here. So this would be my short play. And this would be my long play. With entry here, target here, entry here, target here. Um... The numbers will vary, but the zones will always be the same. So 180, you know, to 160, I would look for. You want to look for the, but the, but you want to for sure see the break below 180, uh, and close. And then same with up here, you want to see a break above 230 and close, and then pull back. Once you see that stabilization and that push past that pullback point, that's when I enter. So I hope this all made sense for you guys. I'm just trying to help you guys the best I can. Please like the video, please share the video. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey there, you must have liked this video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you can get more videos just like this one.